Okay, now we're going to start to add pieces of clay to the outside of our pinch spot to become the head of my character. So I'm going to take some scrap pieces of clay to start to build the eyes and nose, the mouth, ears, horns, whatever it might be. So if I know that I want a nose for my character, I'm going to do this with the pinch method. So I'm going to start out by shaping a general shape like a triangle for the nose. But then I'm just going to use my fingers to start to smear the clay to build up a nose. I know that I need spots for my nostril, so I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to carve in the little nostril pieces. So we've got this outer edge here. And I could maybe use my pinky to push in for the nostrils. like I'm picking its nose. Okay, so that's kind of a general shape to begin with. I'm going to have to adjust it once I add it to my bowl. But that was going to be my nose that I want to attach right here on the edge. I would have to figure out how much of a space do I need for a mouth. So if I need mouth under it, i got to move that up and possibly shorten it. If it's too long, I'm going to rip some of that clay off. Okay. Now I have to look at it from the side. Do I want my nose sticking that far off my project? In my opinion, that's a little too far. So I'm going to cut some of that clay away. I'm going to use a fettling knife and I'm just going to cut from the side to take clay away. That's better. That doesn't stick out as far. So now I'm ready to attach this piece of clay. So when I attach this piece of clay, I have to do the four S's. Score, slip, stick, smooth. I'm going to use a toothbrush and a bowl of water. If I know I want my nose to be attached right here, I'm going to take that and brush that whole area. The water just made slip on the surface. I have to turn my nose piece over, brush that. And then I'm going to put my hand on the inside to support it when I stick that on. Now I'm at step four, which is to smooth. So now I'm going to smooth away the extra slip. And then I'm going to try and blend in my nose to the rest of the face. So I need to push that down a little bit harder. Push that down a little bit harder. If I really want those nostrils to stand out, I could use a tool like an ink pen and stick that ink pen up in there to open up those little nostril holes a little bit better. So now I've got the nose for my character.